we're here on the 31st of October. Wonder what that means in America. <laughs> Wonder what it means in America. <laughs> not very big in Australia. Halloween's not that big in Australia. Huge in America, but not. Like the hat. <laughs> Halloween's not that big. Welcome to the Showy Caesar Show. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Ring the bell. Hit the thumb. Hit the thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> Hit the ding, ding, hit the bell, who cares? God, who cares <laughs> at this point? And again, it's not too bad. It's a little bit warm. It's a little bit warm, but you know. Oh, I keep getting that message. It's, it's going to ignore it. Right. Shirt gives it away. <laughs> shirt gives it away, doesn't it? My shirt gives it away. We're going to unseal unbox the 30th anniversary edition of and the camera won't focus will it of Nirvana's in utro that's better that's better <laughs> camera can't cheap camera <laughs> so mm, it's coming out recently big box set the vinyl big box set looks pretty good for its price ain't getting it um, you think I was a huge Nirvana fan. I haven't got a single book on Nirvana. So, and the magazines, I don't really think. I think it's a poison chalice. If someone like the Mojo magazine or Uncut touch Nirvana, it's, it's something, they keep away from it for some reason. They, they visit it and then they go away. <laughs> and a lot of the times I just pass. I just go, ah, nobody's really, I want Dave Grohl, and the bass player to sit down and maybe with Courtney. I, I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen. But, um, yep, going to undo this. But first, what do I think of it? Uh, it's all right. It's, it's an all right reissue. This was the 20th one. This is way better, I feel, because they gave a lot away. They gave heaps away on this. They gave demos, live tracks. This is the 20th anniversary. I've had this for a while. Uh, a lot of demos. Uh, big box set on that one. Actually, the box set for this is worth a lot of money. Worth a lot of money. Keep getting that message. I'm going to get rid of it. And, um, uh, this album coming after Nevermind would be their third and final with the original lineup. Uh, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> it's Kurt getting away from the commercialism, if you could call it that, of never mind. It's like, mm. <laughs> That's too commercial. <laughs> it's not as good as my first album. I was good as so I like Bleach. So kind of, they call it a return to Bleach, really. Um, me, for me, a lot of songs on Serve the Servants, um, Rape Me, Heart Shape Box, excellent video, excellent song. Oh, I love that song. I love playing that on the guitar. I like the bass riff. I oh, love man. I like everything about that song. Uh, dumb, very ape. Uh, Tourette's. And all apologies. Another good one. Another standout track. But uh, let's get to uh, um sealing, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. I don't think many channels have done this one because. Yeah, it's a, it's a poison chalice to touch Nirvana. <laughs> I don't know why. And I'm going to upset the, uh, the anal fans. Mm. Mm. No, I don't keep them. <laughs> In the bin they go. And uh, yeah, kind of the same photos as the 20th anniversary. Uh, what do you get with this? Uh, you get a lot of rare live stuff, which I know was in the vaults for a long time. I know a lot of Nirvana fans said, give us some more live stuff. So, <laughs> you know, live in 93, 94, uh, in Los Angeles, uh, you name it, like a lot of rare stuff. Some have actually been released and bootlegged. Um, have a look at the book, just a little bit of the book. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Nirvana fan doesn't know that? Doesn't know that. Nirvana fan doesn't know that video. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to show you everything because you'll have to go get it yourself. Yes, the big box sets out, the vinyl sets out. Um, yeah, why did I go get it? Because I don't. I, there's not much live. Um, I like them putting out a lot of live stuff. They put out a lot of live Nirvana, and um, they were a good band, live. They're pretty good. You know, it took me a long time to like Nirvana. I'm not going to lie, that I was not a big Nirvana fan in the day. I, I was into other things, other things. So there, disc one. Nice, nice. Looks like the record. So yeah, you can go get the big box set. Uh, pretty good value for money. Not too bad. Not, not like Pink Floyd wanting 400 bucks. <laughs> There's the live. A lot of rare live on there. And pretty good too. Um, not bad because I listen to it on Spotify. <laughs> when I want to listen to CDs, I put them in the DVD player. <laughs> I don't have a CD player. There's not even a CD player in this computer. So yeah, compare. If you can still get your hands on that, I recommend that. If you're just getting into the Nirvana, you got demos and everything. It's pretty good. Um, this one, the 30th anniversary. If you really want live stuff, go get it. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, an album that. But say Nirvana fans love to hate or hate to love. <laughs> it's an acquired taste coming straight after Nevermind. Uh, fortunately, it's the last time we get the original members together. Uh, for me, ooh, up there in the top 50. Let's put it at number 20 in the greatest albums of all time. But yeah, highly recommend it. Happy Halloween to all you Americans out there. I need too much candy. This is the Showy Caesar Show, signing off. <laughs>